it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics and so guys in this video we're going to be talking about two disturbances so yes we have yet another identified disturbance so the tropics is starting to get quite active so that newly identified disturbance a bit to the south of Bermuda is going to be en route to the southeastern portion of the US and then we have our invest 95L given a higher chance to develop into a tropical cyclone and so guys before I go into details Okay guys, and so first let us get start things with our Invest 95L. So it's located to the south southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. And so guys, at this time, it is given a 20% higher chance to develop. So the chance is now at 30% for us to have development of this tropical disturbance, guys. And so it is going to be moving westward about 15 to 20 miles per hour as it is going to be making its way across the open Atlantic and toward the windward islands. And so guys, looking at the satellite imagery of it, we're seeing somewhat of a bit more shower and thunderstorm activity taking place with the system although it is still very disorganized the chance is there for it to develop but it's really going to be having to put up a fight to achieve tropical cyclone status guys but if you're in the windward islands you want to be on alert for this thing here most likely by the midweek going down to the end of this new week and so guys our new disturbance is not designated as an invest but we do have it being an area of disturbed weather and it is given a 10 percent chance to develop through both 48 hours and five days and so guys it is possible that this thing here could develop and could bring some very dangerous conditions to portions of the southeastern US and so let us go ahead and take a look at satellite imagery of it and so here we have it so disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity associated with this area of disturbed weather but this thing here could be a threat to the US maybe as we head into the early part going into the mid part of the week and so if you're in southeastern US states such as maybe Florida Georgia South Carolina you really want to be cautious and stay updated on the system here because it could potentially be a threat to your area guys and so now let us take a look at the wind shear map across the north atlantic basin so what is the shear like and so in the vicinity of that disturbance we are having favorable shear which is indicated by the greens and the yellows mean neutral but the reds mean unfavorable and that unfavorable shear is what usually rip up our tropical systems and prevent them from further intensifying and help them to dissipate and so the system is going to be in a region that is quite favorable to help it to develop but again guys the chance is very low at just 10 percent but sometimes we have these systems come on quite quickly so you're going to have to pay attention to this one especially because of the fact that it's going to be heading to the u.s but i would say regardless of development as long as there is shower and thunderstorm activity associated with this disturbance you want to be on alert because it could still result in some heavy rainfall there could still be some gusty winds from the system if it is going to to be making its way on shore guys which seems very possible at this point but as for the rest of the atlantic in terms of our invest 95l we're seeing here that there is some favorable and neutral shear across some sections but most of the caribbean at least the central and eastern portions of the caribbean are dominated by unfavorable shear but things could be different as we head into the new week guys and so we really have to pay attention to what's going on out there because these two systems are likely to be threats to land and so now let us go ahead and take a look at the ocean temperature map for the atlantic and then we're going to be looking at what some of our models are expecting and some are showing something quite interesting are we going to be having development in the atlantic region after invest 95l and so guys first let's look at the ocean temperature map as i said so here we have in it and ocean temperatures in the vicinity of that new disturbance are going to be marginally conductive to help it to develop and so in terms of that other disturbance 95l uh, conditions are not the very best but as it makes its way westward once there's going to be minimal shear no dry air those are going to be the perfect ingredients to get this thing here to develop and potentially intensify but even if it does i doubt that it will be a strong system while it is going to be making its way westward and so now let us go ahead and take a look at what some of our models are expecting so first up guys we're going to be taking a look at the GFS model and so this is by Monday the 28th of June and so what you're seeing is a map showing the isobars which are lines of equal pressure which is indicated by those black lines and so when you see them in a circular motion especially the main development region usually are tropical cyclones and so 
Looking in the central region, just a bit between off the coast of Africa and the Lesser Antilles, we're seeing that 1008 millibar low pressure system. And so let us go further. So to Thursday, the 1st of June, we're not seeing much becoming of that system, not getting organized, but there is a lot of moisture. So most likely this thing is going to be impacting the Lesser Antilles with some very heavy rainfall uh, near the end of the new week, guys. And so going to Friday, the 2nd of July, there we have it, those thunderstorms making their way to the west northwest affecting maybe portions of jamaica hispaniola and and maybe the turks and caicos islands and guys this is not guaranteed to happen it is possible that development of the system could happen the track may change so it is still pretty far out it's basically about a week from now so we really have to watch it because changes are inevitable and so let's go on to what the cmc model is showing and so this is by friday the 2nd of july and cmc is showing that low pressure area invest 95l being to the south southeast of jamaica 1010 millibar low pressure system and uh, this would be quite interesting to see so this is most likely not a tropical cyclone uh, maybe just a disturbance that is getting organized but as we head out going to sunday the 4th of july we see that the system has made its way into portions of central america as a 1006 millibar low pressure system so the cmc has it coming into the caribbean not developing and potentially maybe becoming a depression at peak but again guys that's not guaranteed to take place but now let's move on to the icon model and so we're seeing here uh this is by wednesday the 30th of june and so we have invest 95 l as shown by the icon over the lesser antilles but take a look what is that behind the system bit to the southeast and so guys behind it is a 1012 millibar low pressure system and so let us go further out and this is friday the 2nd of july we have invest 95 l all that thunderstorm activity associated with it most likely has decreased and is making its way across the greater antilles and we have that low pressure system approaching the windward islands and so now we're going to sunday the 4th of july we see that that low pressure system is now making its way across the greater antilles so could this be back to back uh, impacts from tropical disturbances well we do not have any new disturbances being out in the atlantic but of course things can be different as we're going to be heading into the new week all our models are varying in what they are anticipating for the system and so we just have to wait and see what the eventual outcome for it is going to be but as of right now the chance has risen a bit to 30 percent from 10 percent this morning and so the, there is the likelihood of it developing into a tropical cyclone and so if you're wondering guys the next name to be used for this atlantic hurricane season is danny and should in case we have the two disturbances developing the next name after Danny is Elsa and so we have to wait as I said and see what's going to be happening but as of right now if you're in the southeastern US you want to be on alert because that new area of disturbed weather could affect your area but at this time it is given a low chance to develop then we have our invest 95 l that is located to the south southwest of the cabo verde islands that is going to be making its way westward across the atlantic and could be a threat to portions of the caribbean as you're going to be heading into the latter part of the new week and so guys that is it for this updated video on the tropics and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course course i'll keep you updated as time goes by